What's up guys? I'm somewhere in the Spielplatz. Spielplatz is like, it's like a playground. So, black people in, in Germany. Black people who are born in Germany or raised in Germany. I have a question for you. Why are you so cold, man? Were you born this way or the German that made you cold? Ha! I, I, I've never met coldest people on earth like black people in Germany. You guys are very cold. Anyway, I'm here to talk about the depression in Germany and how to conquer it. So, there are so many ways uh, to come abroad. When I say abroad, I mean like uh, Dubai, US, Gulf, any, everywhere. So, I want to talk about the Africans abroad. Hey, it's never, it's never easy. So, there are so many ways to come abroad. Others go for work. Others go for studies, others go for family reunion. It doesn't matter how you went to abroad, but uh, it's never easy. You come here, you realize that uh, you make good money, but the good money can never buy your mental health, you see? Uh, most people wonder that uh, you are like abroad, a place like the US, UK, Germany, but you are depressed. How? There are so many ways people get uh, depressed. You come here, you think life is soft. You reach abroad, you find uh, this different language. Like people in uh, like Qatar, Dubai, they speak uh, Arabic or something. Yeah. You come to Germany, people speak Deutsch. You go somewhere, before you fit in, it will take you uh, like a, a while. You find that many people get uh, depressed because of, uh, because of uh, lack of communication. There's that uh, communication barrier. So you, you have to study first, learn the language, learn the culture, you see? So you'll find that people come here, they think life is soft. And then there are those people who came to abroad, they left their kids back home because they came to find uh, good pastures, greener pastures, I mean. You find that uh, they left kids at home. So they get uh, depressed when they think about their family, the people you left at home, you see? And then you come here, you are promised like good money, you'll be getting this and this and this. When you come, uh, uh, like uh, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Dubai, you find that uh, the contract is something else. You sign something else when you are in, uh, like, like in your country, but when you come to abroad, it's something else. So people, you get de uh, depressed, and de uh, depression is not that, uh, you will know that you are depressed. You just come uh, gradually. So, like people in Germany, you come here, you have to start the language first, before you get the job again, another problem. You go for an interview, they just hear your accent, uh, and then they know that this is not uh, someone from here or somewhere from uh, nearby, like European Union. So they'll give the job uh, for the Europeans first and then they give you later. So you find that people are depressed uh, and they don't know they are de uh, depressed. And then you have to send money at home, you see. People ex expect that you have money 24-7. You'll come here and their family back at home. They are stressing you like, send money, the cow has chewed uh, a razor blade, the child has done this and this, you need money. So they think you have money 24-7. But when you come here, tax, uh, tax, the money is not even enough, yeah? You get a lot, a lot of money by the tax, you buy food, you have to pay rent, rent is very expensive. People at home think that uh, in abroad, you just collect money from the trees. I'm telling uh, that in 2023, try to be happy, yeah? Don't be strong for people who will come and say that uh, we didn't ask for your help. After you help them like uh, small, small money, you send at home like 2K, 3K. One day they'll wake up and, 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 and tell you that we didn't ask for your help, you see. So in 2023, make sure you are happy, not just strong. You'll be strong for people that will not even appreciate you. So depression is real, struggles, it's never easy abroad, yeah. I'm not talking about Germany or uh, US or anywhere. I'm, I'm talking in general, abroad. It's never easy. So 
When was the last time that uh, someone told you they love you genuinely? You see, when you are in, in abroad, they they just want you to tell them you love them back home. You send them money. When was the last time someone sent you money on your birthday? Yeah, you see, they never send you anything, even present, because they think you are abroad. You have money. You have everything. So this year, make sure you put yourself first. Yeah, go for road trips. Go for holiday, go to Ibiza, go to France. If you're in Qatar, go to Saudi Arabia, Dubai. Get those visas. Um, travel. Have fun. Save your money. Because it's never that easy. So sometimes you come abroad, you try to make uh, new friends. You find that uh, you make friends, yes. But they are fake as F. Yeah? Others. They think like you are a threat to them. Others, they are in, competi in competition with you. When you try to do this thing, they try to copy you, you see. So, uh, finding friends here is hard. And then uh, family, uh, back ho uh, at home, they expect much from you. And when you can't deliver, you see, you get uh, depressed. And then when you are in, in Africa, you think that uh, when you go abroad after five years, I love my big mansion, I love my car, I start business in Africa. But when you come here, <laughs> the reality will hit you hard. You find that after five years, you haven't done anything, no accomplishment, you just get money, pay bills, pay, ta uh, pay tax, uh, do this and that. You just save a little bit, you can't buy anything that you can say that this day money I got so it's hard but we try yeah so guys depression is real for Africans living abroad it's never easy life is hard just uh, same like back at home but here it's on a different level the stress is on a, on a different level you just like like here you'll just be sitting at home you are relaxed you got your salary you are you are happy you want to enjoy it when you go to open the mailbox, you find that you have a letter, rationing. Rationing is like bills. You are told to pay this and this, like TV and radio. You didn't expect to pay, uh, to pay uh, radio or TV when you came abroad. But you find that they'll send you rationing, saying that you should pay this money at this time. So <laughs> you wonder that, ah, when these guys, uh, they just waited for me to get my salary, and then they, they start uh, sending rationing. And then here, yeah, houses are very expensive, yeah? You find that uh, when you get a good house, it's expensive. When you get a small house, it's too little. You want to share with everyone, and your, how do you call it? Your privacy is compromised. Like when you go abroad, when you were in Kenya, you had your own house. You are just chilling in your own house, your own apartment. You have your own TV, seats, toilet in the house, and everything. You come abroad like Dubai, you find that the, you can't pay uh, rent on your own, so you have to stay together like five people in the same room. There's no privacy. You see, you can't do things uh, they used to do when you are in Africa. So you get de uh, depressed, but you don't know. So mental health uh, is important. So when you come abroad, make sure your mental health is... You keep yourself first. Love yourself. Buy something for yourself. Appreciate yourself, man. Because if you don't appreciate yourself, no one will. Because there's a lot of expectation from your friends, family, everyone. They want you to be perfect. You have money because you're abroad. So put yourself first in 2023. Be happy. Not just strong, yeah? Be happy, not just strong. You'll be strong for everyone. It's time uh, you did something for yourself. Appreciate yourself, yeah? So, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. You are good people. Thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.